Now is the third step. Summarize what you found. So do you remember what we found in previous video? So full text search, you know how to do it. If you can't, please let me know. And you should be able to interpret the figures and tables, but we did not learn about that yet. So just stick to the conclusion and abstract. And if you find that article or conclusion or discussion is interesting, summarize them. Where? In your assignment. So prepare the script. First, write down your research topic. Title of research article is supposed to show what is the research question very directly. This is not poetry or literature. Effective intervention for weight loss. Or you can just directly acupuncture and basically then we can include more variety of articles under this topic because this title just says the correlation between those two factors, acupuncture and obesity. This is more specific research question, which is focusing on its efficacy. So either way is fine. Today, let's stick to the first question. So this is the title. And I hope you know how to use the style of the document so you can make systematic and consistent article by using style like this. So I change this sentence into headline, the headings. So there's a level you can see, heading, heading two, heading three, heading four, and body. And body one without indent. So there's a many different styles and your assignment will be easier to read and easier to follow the levels and hierarchies of the sentences and paragraph. So I strongly recommend to learn how to use those styles. And all the word processors like uh, MS Word or any other third-party apps must have these styles. And this is Pages in Mac obviously have styles. So there's a title. And if you want, you can write down why, why, why do I want to know about this topic? This is optional. This is the instruction part. Intro, introduction. Let's make a style. At line four, the efficacy of this about acupuncture treatment for obesity. So this is another title, headline four. So just summarize what we have found here, and this is one thing of we found. So what was the conclusion? So this is the one conclusion from this study. So you can directly quote this. You can rewrite with your own word. I strongly recommend you guys to rewrite it just as much as you understood. So let's stick to the brief conclusion about this. I think this is the Most important result. So at all found out that. So this is one summary of this result, and you can see this reference here six. This is the reference, and this is already have been wrote in an AMA style. So just insert footnote this way. So you had one summary of article. And next, 
but I strongly recommend you guys to find actual article, this article, original article, and please check if they describe the result in proper way. So let's go to PubMed and let's try to find out this article. This one. Mm. One hundred sixty one cases of simple obesity with or without hyperlipemia were treated by pellet pressure on auricular acupoints plus body acupuncture for three months in a single blind experiment. Patients on capsule ionothera erythrocephaly were taken as positive controls. Body weight, circumference of chest, abdomen, arms and legs, the appetite, sleep, bowel movement, blood TC, TG and HDLC were recorded for comparison. The results indicated that treatment in the auricular and body acupoint group was superior to treatment in the control group. In the acupoint group body weight dropped by an average of 5.04 kg in 84.55% of the patients, who also showed decreased appetite, blood TC and TG. So when I found this article, this statement is very ambiguous. We do not know actually this treatment group was different from control group in any aspect statistically. There is no any clear description. It's too bad. And in the acupoint point group, body weight dropped by. This is not important information. This is just description. This was supposed to be controlled trial, but but it doesn't matter. Just summarize what you found. Garbage article based on garbage. I would not bother to go find the original full text article. Not all glitters are not gold. It looks like RCT. The result is not based on RCT. And let's find out the conclusion of this article. This was a system review. Uh, so we do not know why, but let's summarize that way. One systematic review by concluded that acupuncture treatment alone was not more effective than both treatment or sham acupuncture alone. And let's find out. If you find some interesting results, you can write them down. This is the result. Okay, so this is the better result. So conclude that. Based on Thirty-two intervention arms and two thousand patients suggest that. So this is the article, and this is the conclusion. Very subtle implications suggest that the effective acupuncture. So this is good conclusion. So actually, the research. 
here, those are not that good articles, not high quality RGTs. So they cannot make a better clear conclusion here. So this is the problem of oriental medical researches. They do not have good RCTs, but they are just writing system review. But this is how we do, how we do. So go to this website I told you, then click. <sighs> so you can find this. This is a AMA style reference. Click and footnote this way. Summarize several articles, at least five, maybe ten. So let's get one more article. How about this one? This is what we found. Another system review. Okay, very subtle implication too. Another system review. Found a very better relative effectiveness of some EATM. East Asian traditional medicine. Okay, so some so this is redundant actually. East Asian traditional medicine interventions such as combination of acupressure and copying and, and pediatric obesity if you want to be more specific let's find the other information so let's include this conclusion too This study suggests that copying plus that pressure might be more beneficial than Trina or other medicine. So this is the conclusion we can get. So you don't have to screen the bad articles and good articles. Just read them and if you think that is interesting try to include it we didn't learn how to discern good article from bad article yet so let's stick to the articles just interest you so just summarize the result in your script and today to save my time i didn't check the articles fully so i just quickly try to show you how to do the homework assignment so so that is the reason I just copy and paste these articles but please check those articles fully then summarize them that is what I intended in this assignment to learning how to search and how to read articles and how to make your own review article review script from those what you searched so let's try to organize this one too. Mm. 
for the DOI number here. Let's copy it. Did it copy already? So where is the citation? Site here, site. A hey, Mr. So let's copy this. Let's copy this and footnote. So we want to make this an end note. So click footnote here, change this end note. So we have an end note here. Conclusion. So I hope you can write a couple more. One RCT, another RCT, one case series. This way, just include more articles. About five. Conclusion I found out that acupuncture. generally effective on obesity when it combined with other treatment in various studies. Uh, the RCT study show that comprehensive approach acupuncture Some study show that electro acupuncture was more effective than regular acupuncture in control. Appetite. So this is just fake conclusion. So make your own conclusion. Summarize the result here and make your conclusion. And reference and style. Style. new name so this is the assignment I want you to write let me go back to the step 3 and 4 and 5 so I just showed how to summarize them and how to organize them step three to five so this is kind of time consuming work so you need to try and you will get used to it this is just like riding a bike so you need to practice 
spend some time on the topic of your interest that is the purpose of this assignment and you will use this skill again and again in many different courses from other professors and once you learn the type of the studies and how to discern good articles from bad articles telling good evidence from bad evidence you'll be able to use research in your daily living life so that is my primary goal make this research methodology is useful and practical to you and try it by yourself and if you have any question please let me know enjoy